Oh no, who is this? The multiverse has arrived. Starts off as a normal sort of sitcom episode like the first three. Agnes comes in and she's trying to help out with the twins and pretty quickly she's she's sort of breaking the fourth wall. Vision sort of starts to say, oh, you, maybe you shouldn't touch the babies. I guess it seems like maybe she's following a script that she's supposed to. And then she's like, oh, wait, why, why did he go off script? Should we take it from the top again? And she sort of looks at Wanda for direction and Wanda sort of almost seems surprised that she knows about it or that she's at least revealing it to Vision. So maybe she's in on it somehow. Or is their uh, sort of conception and birth happened very radically? The twins' growth seems to be happening very quickly as well. And it actually seems like, it seems like they can control it. So everything around the babies, you'll notice, everything surrounding the twins is something Wanda can't control. She couldn't control the stork that was supposedly delivering the twins to her. She couldn't stop the stork, and now she can't stop the twins. It seemed to be the only thing she can't control. Wanda tells them, oh, you can't keep, like, running away from everything. You can't keep, like, just trying to grow up to run away from your current problems. Although that's sort of what Wanda does, in a sense. She sort of runs away. Every time Vision starts to realize something, she resets to the culmination of what the first four episodes were. It's the sitcom of the first three, but it's also still half the episode, really, is the other sort of what we get in episode four. It's going on outside of the dome with Jimmy Woo and Darcy Lewis and Monica Rambo, of course. Monica Rambo's Kevlar vest basically turned into this sort of uh, these like 80s or these 70s clothes last week and they try to shoot it. And there's, so it still sort of keeps the consistency of the material perhaps it seems, but just aesthetically changes to sort of fit. realize oh okay if we just use the right technology we can sort of sneak in there because it won't register that it needs to be changed so if they use technology from the 80s they can get in there and so by doing that they try to by using 80s technology they try to sort of send a signal to vision and he's sort of the only one that can pick up on it so something he's not quite under the same type of spell i guess or he can't be controlled to the same extent it seems as everyone else in this world so that's why he's been questioning things all along and now it really comes to head in this episode so vision knows now um and uh he he sort of snaps out of it and he just sort of does does this to to i think norm who's like at work with him and then norm snaps out of it and he's like screaming like help me help me like we need to she's it's it hurts she's like I can't, she's completely taken over my mind and then vision so visions figure it out now <laughs> he confronts wanda later at their home says oh no you can't just you can't just stop everything and just start over and make me forget everything this time and she's like can't i and then credits literally start rolling but it's not the end of the episode so that's sort of symbolizing she's sort of saying oh no like this is we're not doing this now let's just roll the credits and uh we'll, we'll start fresh when you don't remember everything but that doesn't seem to work and vision is really he's sort of broken free of the spell it seems and i guess it's so this episode is saying that vision is in fact alive or brought back from the dead like wanda somehow did that how could she do that though she couldn't how could she bring him back without the infinity stump there's some other sort of power at play here she was able to get the soul stone maybe vision really does look like how he does now and what we saw last week of him dead was sort of just a flashback for wanda it's not totally clear to say but it really sounds like or they think, Sword at least thinks that she has resurrected his corpse. Director of Sword, Tyler Hayward, he's all, like, all in on sort of, he wants to kill Wanda. They actually, they, they send a drone in that Monica doesn't realize apparently is armed, and he uh, tries to kill her, but he should have known better. I mean, it's Scarlet Witch. She's, like, super freaking powerful. Of course that wasn't going to do anything. That leads to the two sides of the show confronting themselves, and, like, literally, Wanda comes out of the dome first you just see her silhouette she comes out full like in her costume her full scarlet witch costume from infinity war and endgame and she basically tells them hey is this your drone don't bother me i won't bother you and then they sort of are like oh well you're holding tons of people hostage and she's like well i'm not the one with the guns and monica tries to get through to her but uh not sure it really works but we'll see i think that'll pay off later and i think she will sort of side with monica commercial this time is is lagos uh paper towels to clean up messes that you didn't mean to make so that one that one that one i got it's pretty clear it's uh if you've seen civil war that's 
that's where the opening scene of Civil War takes place in a place called Lagos. And that's where Scarlet Witch, she's, I believe she's trying to, when, um, is it Crossbones or something? The One of the Captain America villains tries to self-destruct himself with a bomb and tries to kill Captain America. Scarlet Witch trying to save Cap and everybody there sort of uses her force field and throws him into a building. But then, of course, that kills everybody in the building. So that was a big mess. And uh, it was sort of labeled, they even show in this episode, it was sort of labeled as her being a terrorist at the time. Lagos brand, which is where she had that accident, we'll say. And a bigger metaphor for this whole series, she's trying to sort of just fix everything. And of course now, the end of the episode is of course the big reveal. And um, this, yeah, I, I sort of, I wish I hadn't, like, I wish this was com kept completely secret, but I think a lot of people sort of knew about this if you're paying attention to the internet and stuff. And so I think I knew this was sort of coming to some extent, but um. She opens the door at the end, and it's uh, it's Quicksilver, but it is not the Quicksilver we know from the MCU. It is not Aaron Taylor Johnson from Age of Ultron, so it is not. It's her brother, Pietro, she realizes, but, and they're quickly realizing as they're watching on the TVs from outside the dome, Sword is realizing... And then they say, oh my god, they recast Pietro. And it's literally Evan Peters who plays Pietro and Quicksilver in the Fox X-Men franchise. So they just said recently, I don't know, even though this was already in Rumor Mill, but they, they sort of said recently, oh, that other than Deadpool, they're not bringing in any Fox characters. And we already know they're bringing in a bunch of Sony characters. But um, this is sort of the first time they brought in a character from the Fox X-Men universe now. So I think, I mean, this is huge. This is massive. So really, I mean, probably there's a lot that won't come back at this point. But this opens the door that very, there's no really logistical reason within the realm of the MCU now that anyone from the X-Men universe can't come into the MCU now, which is pretty incredible maybe we could see maybe at some point we'll see Hugh Jackman return one more time as Wolverine so it's pretty fantastic just how everything's converging and how they're using this show to sort of literally rewrite the history of the MCU this episode I say this every week it's probably the best one yet um as much as it was a cool sort of fan cliffhanger I think my favorite ending of an episode so far is still last week's. I just like the whole kind of vibe that brought, even though it wasn't as big of a reveal last time as this one that uh, Wanda is sort of behind everything. I really like the way that one ended, but no, no, this is just really cool, awesome, geeky nerd stuff that is just, um, well, I think it's exactly what we're all wanting from phase four of the MCU. And the, the MCU, I don't think is... At this point, if they can really make this whole multiverse thing work, which from this sort of first intro of it, it seems like they are going to. I don't really see any reason that the MCU will ever end. And I think that's fantastic. So, yeah, WandaVision just keeps getting better and better. Can't wait for next week. Still not the Halloween episode. Is anyone else? I really thought this would be the Halloween episode. I got both the, the Halloween pop figures. It's probably next week, 90s, right? Okay. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and take care. Bye.